Yeah, don't try to stop that stuff. She deserves a divorce. Let her have it. Forgot to change the background. So the background is the same background from the last episode. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you want more content, click subscribe. If you click that little bell and click all, then you'll get more content notifications. Hi everyone, this is Venus Brown. Today I'm going to be reacting to The Crown, season two, episode three. It's called Lisbon. I apologize for the camera footage. I have the footage on my Logitech camera. I don't remember it being this slow, but for some reason it is. I've tried to adjust the camera settings and it doesn't seem to matter. Nothing I do seems to help that. If anybody has any idea what you're supposed to do to make that less of a problem. Anyway, let's get on with the show. Okay, so he's had his little vacation in Jamaica and he's back now. He's still alive. And I looked it up. It doesn't say anything about him killing himself. So maybe that image at the end was just of him taking too much medication or overdosing or something, but didn't die from it. Off the coast of Antarctica. Here's your daddy. Is that daddy? And nestled between the white bones of ancient whales. <laughs> Find our way home. Oh, fucking amazing. Oh, that's good. I like it. Like, let her know what's going on so you can soften what the blow because it I is going to so. cause blowback. But well, seriously, it's not an excuse to try anyway, to force somebody not to get in a divorce. Someone else's marriage in order to safeguard the crown. Not that we didn't <gasps> fig about Parkers or their happiness. Just let it go. Stop meddling in everyone else's marital affairs. It's like half the stuff that he does to try to make things better with the royal family seem to actually make them worse. Just freaking give her the information, let her know what's coming down the pike, and let things go. Sometimes life has to proceed as it will. You meddling isn't really helping. Ugh. A united government. But we're not a united government, are we, Anthony? The war you insisted on has left us as divided as Caesar and Pompey and the country in chaos. There is no petrol in the pumps, there are no tins on the shelves. Our allies are aligned against us. Our international reputation is in tatters. You were for the war, as I remember. Only as long as it was legal. God. This is one thing we see a lot too in America. <laughs> is people being for the war and then when the country gets mad and angry about it and everything goes wrong, they're like, oh, well, I'm not for it anymore. Oh, I was for it when it was a legal war. I was for it when it was for the right things. No, you were for it when it was convenient. And now you're against it because it's convenient. There's no justice in politics. Oh, well, yeah, we definitely know that. We do. Meddling in shit you shouldn't be meddling in. Mrs. Parker, I ask you to hold off on any instruction or public announcement just a little while longer. That's what you came here for, isn't it? Mm-hmm. This wasn't a coincidence at all. You came here because you knew it's where I'd be. And you wanted to put in a word on their behalf. It's pathetic. Still there round the clock, Blackie, even in retirement. A little like Virginia, the scenery going by. To offer you my resignation. And at this point, I'm sorry. Did I suggest being in bad health? No. Now, being in that position would be very difficult for everyone. I did think that the decision to go to war was rushed. And I was sorry to see you lie to the house when you told them that you had no prior knowledge of the Israelis' intentions. Frustrating it can be. <laughs> History was not made by those who did nothing. There you go, right there. 
standing on the sidelines doing nothing doesn't Driven accomplish it. Yeah, I don't see uh, trying to start a war as a good thing to do, but as being somebody who has been an advocate and activist in certain respects for I some progressive issues, and to warn her that I feel like doing nothing, like I'm not going to accomplish anything. It's I only when I am actively doing things, even rather, I though that I know that there can no. be risk involved, that have the chance to accomplish things. Right. I, I know who I need is. To sue her husband for divorce. Facing ourselves with one or two irritating headlines. <laughs> Why? To adultery. A letter, I believe. A letter? A written by Lieutenant Commander Parker to his fellow members of the lunch club. Bragging about <laughs> exploits on the royal tour. Well, what sort of exploits? Oh. He didn't answer to that question. Thank you, Michael. You have the ballerina picture, the knowledge even from her sister that things look suspicious, plus this letter, which I'm sure he's going to get a uh, wind of some of what's actually in it. And of course the news is going to be all over. For him as a train conductor or that something. You have been chosen by your colleagues as the man most able to unite the government and lead this country following Santini's resignation. Yes, ma'am. Economic situation would have been quite ruinous. But it wasn't just Eden's war. Nope. Was it? Yours too. It was a war prosecuted by a government of which you, as Chancellor, were a major constituent part. I am also a little like it is. that you were one of the loudest voices in support of the war in the beginning. One always has to accept one's own part, I believe, Thank in you. any mess. Good introduction. Now he's getting the message. The chickens have come home to roost. But somehow the letter got back to Eileen. And now she has written to the palace. Sue me for divorce. <laughs> Why are you visiting me? <laughs> oh my god. Because what would it be like? To have a visit from the Queen. But what would it be like to have a visit from the Queen for that reason? To help. My marriage to Mike is beyond help. I see. Our separation has been inevitable for some time. I had intended to divorce Mike years ago, but because of the attention surrounding Group Captain Townsend and Princess Margaret, I decided to hold back. Thank you. <laughs> but that's then. That's the problem. It just got worse. And while some women may elect to put up with this sort of humiliation, I simply have too much respect for myself and my children to bear it. What are you talking about? <laughs> Bury it, man. I'll sweep it away. It's there, in black and white. I haven't literally been in a and I do wonder, you know, what that is Did like to go from this position that you know something is going on, leave it at bay or whatever, you people aren't even and then you come into a situation like this the where there's the no way that you can ignore it or act like it's not a problem or anything like that. How that is, Gentlemen, go from those two positions. I would like to make a brief statement on behalf of, of my client's responsibilities of parenthood or marriage, and divorce remains the only solution. Thank you. You knew it was coming. Resignation, first thing. You'll need it now. I hereby offer my resignation. Only for long enough, you know the rules. We are how it works. There is no room for mistakes. There is no room for scandal. 
If you don't want mistakes, mistakes and scandal, don't engage in the behaviors. I think you should probably do this in Gibraltar. Might I suggest a policy of no comment on all counts, and especially no letters? <laughs> this from newspapers have not been so kind. <laughs> Yesterday, a story broke in the Baltimore Sun. <laughs> Where? Baltimore, mummy. Mm -hmm. Claiming that the capital was awash with rumor that the Duke of Edinburgh was romantically involved with an unnamed woman whom he met on a regular basis in the West End apartment of a society photographer, Baron Naum. Naum is also president of the Thursday Club in Soho, of which the Duke of Edinburgh is a founder member. Since the first rumors of a romance between the former King Edward VIII and Mrs. Ernest Simpson, have Americans gobbled up the London dispatches so avidly? The Sunday tutorial on its we front page a lot of reminds its readers that the royal family is loved the royal family. and envied throughout the world. Even families like mine, family. where we Time try not to pay a lot of a attention to that stuff. Too much Thursdaying. Can't help it, it goes on it to say, it. not since Wallace. Fly the Duke of Edinburgh back straight away. That's one thought, Your Majesty, and it's a good one. The devil's advocate might argue, and I'd be interested to hear Michael's thoughts on this, that the Duke's early return, obviously stage managed by the palace, might appear too much of a concession to the newspapers and pour even more petrol. Leaving him out there will also, it leaves time for we things to fester that. and come out. I mean, they're going to come out anyway, but... I don't know. My thought is... Air your dirty laundry, get it out, and let the stories run their the course. Will like a word. Hopefully get some fucking Inside, medical help and try to deal with things you since you can't stuff. freaking get divorced. It's interesting, the trimming before shaving. Like, I get that. I just figured that if you're going to do that, that you would do more of it. Like, cut it down shorter. And then shave. God's sake, it has hearts on it. Oh, well, they And the hat, too. Of chivalry and deference. Before I enter the aircraft, before you reach the stairs. I think the hearts are cheesy and they could easily backfire because if the trip and everything with the news that gets devolved and the images, pictures, and everything, if any of that shows signs of their marriage being in turmoil, it's just gonna look completely stupid. I like the red hat with red, red lipstick and that dark blue jacket. Stand out together. And this is where we started at the beginning. I was wondering how long they were gonna let this continue. The show we put on. The steps that we've taken haven't quite done the trick. It's on the table. And talk frankly, for once, about what needs to change to make this marriage work. We find ourselves in a... a prison. <laughs> Asking what it will take. The dreaded moustaches. <laughs> stop calling them that. You'll stop calling them that when they don't all have one. An end to their snobbery and prejudice. No more being sniffed at for being a foreigner with they a background. Do you understand? Will you earn their respect with no, your behavior? No. No. I will earn their respect with the only thing those creatures understand. A gesture, a statement, something irrefutable that shuts them up and commands their respect. Right now, I am currently outranked by my eight-year-old son. Oh, yes, of course. He's the heir to the throne. <laughs> <sighs> like we'd have to hire new people in their place that understand what it is that you Her are Majesty expecting. The These people have been there forever, it seems passed. like, and they Under just the keep the doing realm, the same annoying the days, the shit. Of, as His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. I thought he was already known as that. Somebody is going to have to inform me. What was he called before that? Because I thought once he got married and she was queen that he was 
Prince Philip. I also looked up around the time frame this was, and it was the 50s, so that was long before I was born. <laughs> so I wouldn't really have a lot of information on the current events at the time, other than whatever was taught in school. And history in school focused a lot more on U.S. history here, and world history focused mostly on the wars and the Holocaust history in grade school because it seemed to be more about memorizing names and dates than it was about the stories and experiences that were really happening to the people. I mean, more than just wars and Holocaust. We were setting the curriculum and requirements at the time for what's supposed to be taught in world history in American classrooms, which I believe was very much state regulated at the time, state and local regulated. I think I was in Virginia a long time, and I don't remember the education system in Virginia being great. I didn't get to Washington until later on in high school, and I think I was learning state history at the time, which was a great class. I love Washington state history, but uh, no world history at that time. The worst, I think, when I was learning world history, we were in Matthews County, Virginia. I remember being very frustrated in that school. And Really having a hard no, time maintaining stuff. After that, I mean, Not all the teachers the were fire. bad, but the history teachers, hey, low rolling, right, boring, and really memorize things, but they don't give us really good contextual information. Listen, sweetheart. May they never meet. But already have, as they what should. What we do now? Oh. Can I come? <laughs> I thought everything was all sorted yeah, well. That's well, gonna really it can help be. you. When you sell your mouse to feed, she said. <laughs> you should think of it as a second act. What a great tragedy. Of her life as a mother. <laughs> that makes sense from her perspective. Mm. Charles isn't a child to her, is he? He's also the crown. The living embodiment of who will replace her. Supercita. Well, having a child who, through no fault of his own, represents your own death can't be easy. No. Because she is a little cold with him. She's a little cold. She tries her best. I'd be nice to have a cup of coffee. I saw her as looking at him coldly or not really caring about him or loving him. I get that it would be a different situation to have a child that doesn't have that type of. That was episode three of The Crown, Lisbon, which I guess was just because that's where they were when he came off the ship and they attempted some sort of talk to try to deal with the issues that they were experiencing. Didn't really feel like it was really a, a real attempt to deal with the problems of the marriage. It was more, hey, I don't agree with this and that. Um, but what are you willing to do to stay here? Nothing to really focus on what do we do about our marriage? They were seeing it as not a problem, but I don't agree with that. She knew that shit was going on and she had her suspicions confirmed that shit was going on. Eh. Till next time, I'll see you when I see you. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you want more content, click subscribe. If you click that little bell and click all, then you'll get more content notifications. That closing that I have there, that was done on this camera. And it didn't have this problem with, with my image looking delayed or anything. There's got to be some other way that I can edit it to make it behave appropriately because it's not doing 
he's not doing the right thing. So I'm going to write to the camera settings. 